Okay, we are here in Sedona, Arizona. This is actually Flagstaff, near Sedona. Um, we rented an Airbnb with my grandma and grandpa, my parents, and Nolan. So this is the outside of our Airbnb. You can see the neighborhood. It's nighttime right now, but it's really nice. Mm -hmm. One. Okay, so now let's take you inside. You come inside to this nice hallway. We have a nice big closet right there. One. And now, right behind you, we have a bedroom. We have the first bedroom on the main floor. This is where my grandparents are staying. Very nice. This is a full bed, I think. And then if you come in here, If, and then if you come in here, we have a nice closet, lots of storage, and then we even have this little secret room back here for kids. It's kids themed. And then if you look back here, there's even more space. And then from here, this is very nice, we have an attached bathroom. So you can go to the bathroom and reach it from your room. The bathroom is very nice. Very nice, as you can see. It's all set up for us since this is an Airbnb. And then if you close this door behind it, you have the door back out to the main hall again. Here you have the laundry room. And then back out here. There is snow on the ground right now, so we won't be using it much. The game closet. Lots of games already placed there for us. And then if you come up to the kitchen here, a nice open layout, pretty cabinets, very updated, and it comes with all of the essentials, coffee, um, coffee pots, tea, creamer, toaster, and then in here it just has dishware in all of the cupboards. Very pretty. And then possibly the best feature, this dining table actually turns into a pool table. How? You have to flip it over, so we'll do that in just a second. Okay. Say something. And here we are. Wow. There's the pool table and all its beauty. Mm. Here are the boards that we placed. All you had to do was take the boards, lift them off of the table, then take the tarp off. And here's everything you might need for a pool game. All the right. The balls are inside of the pockets. Mm -hmm. These are the pool sticks and the starting triangle and chalk even. All right, my dad just set up all the balls. Here we have the living room again. There's my mom. <laughs> There's Nolan and then grandpa and grandma on the couch together relaxing. This is 
is my younger brother, Nolan. He's here to break the balls for us. Get the game started. Yeah. <laughs> nice job. Yeah. So Nothing going in. No, he already cheated already. <laughs> Look. I thought I'm cheat, but he, he, good. he, he cheat too. And as I mentioned before, this is a two-story Airbnb. You could follow me upstairs. Very high ceilings, very open space. And you can even get a view of the pool game going on down there. Wow. Very nice shot by Jill, my mom. Thank you, thank you. Mama, thank you. <laughs> and then up here, we have a closet. Very nice. And then the second bathroom. Very beautiful style. And then here we have the master bedroom, which is where my parents are staying. very pretty. We have a nice TV and the owner of the Airbnb says there's YouTube TV provided already. Wow. We have the master closet. Lots and lots of storage. And then in here, even more beautiful is the master bathroom. And in here, the shower. And then over here, on the other side, if you'll pan over here, view of master bathroom, it's very nice in there. Very high ceilings, very high doorways. If you're a tall person, this house would be a great fit for you. And then, just in case anybody wanted to know, Dad, are you going to tell us the price per night of this Airbnb? It was two fifty a night, after all taxes. So it was probably... 230 advertised after tax 250. Do they have a minimum or? after tax and cleaning and everything was 250 a night? Can they rent per night a week or what? Minimum two nights. Okay, minimum two nights. So what, for us, what is the maximum? We had two families here. We could have got motel rooms for at least 125 a night, or we could just get this place for the same price. This one way cheaper. I am highly recommend it. Yes. You have a privacy and room for your kid play and for even for you and your wife play. Kitchen. Kitchen. Backyard. Dishwasher. Uh, Close, everything. Yep. Nine neighborhood. Three bathrooms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Because she takes uh, two hours in the bathroom in the morning. Okay. <laughs> yes. You're the one. So I have lots of privacy. That's a teenager for you, okay? <laughs> All right. Wait, we have one more bedroom okay. to show you. That, that will be your bedroom, right? Yes. This is my brother and I's bedroom. We have a nice guitar in there in case we want to play some tunes in oh, the middle of the okay. night. You know how to play guitar? I could try. I just watched Taylor Swift. Oh, okay. I just watched Taylor Swift's opening night concert of the Eras Tour, her first concert in over five years. How you uh, how you thought about overall the concert? Good the money? Yes, the concert we had um, kind of in the nosebleeds, but not too bad. It was a very good view, um, right parallel to the stage, um, for a hundred dollars a ticket. Oh, so. Cheap. Yes, very cheap, especially for Taylor Swift, because she said for this pre for this seat you cannot go over a hundred dollars. Hmm. So she's very very kind, Taylor. If you see this, I love you. Okay. <laughs> and then it was a very good show. She did not disappoint at all. Very special effects. This whole stage lit up. There were fireworks, everything. And she sang for over three hours, three hours and ten minutes to be exact. And she sang a song from a, at least. At least one song from every one of her 10 albums. So, and I cried when she first came out. 
Really? Yes, I was so excited to see her. So, it was very fun. We'll see ya. Bye.